as I've mentioned from time to time here on the show during the past several weeks, we've sought to bring some voices to this microphone and to our station that can encourage you from a biblical perspective, local pastors, Christian leaders uh, at a national and even international level as well. And we've had such an honor of having so many in that regard, including the gentleman, the dear friend I'm going to introduce right now. He is a very familiar voice to many of you listening Dennis Rainey and his wife, Barbara, founded Family Life Ministry back in, I think it was 1976, and they continued through the years and decades even up until 2017, but they're still going strong, and I'm so delighted we could have him join us for a few minutes here. Dennis, how are you? I'm great. I'm glad you asked me to be on Waver. You're the best talk show leader in the country (laughs) and the best station in the country, it's good to lock arms with you and help folks. Well, we miss your voice on family life, but we know it's being handled well, and your successors are doing greatly, but your ministry is far from over. We'll give your website and ask you a bit about that in a couple of minutes. But Dennis, what are some of your own most immediate concerns about the nation and about believers in the midst of this current pandemic? Well, I, I've got I've really got three thoughts for you uh, that have been a burden to me. Number one, I think we need to be regularly praying for our leaders in government, federal and state, executive, legislative, judicial branch, but also corporate leaders. I've been amazed at how corporate leaders have rallied to come alongside the nation. We really are at war, and this is a time to join arms with folks labs, all kinds of leaders from from different uh, disciplines in in life, but also pray for the EMT workers, the docs, and the nurses, and just ask God to protect all of them and uh, to protect us. A second thing I think we need to be doing is I think we need to be praying for ourselves and counseling our own souls. Psalm 43 is a great psalm it asks the question is raw it says why are you cast down O my soul and why are you in turmoil within me and then it, the, the psalmist counsels his soul he speaks to his soul and and don there's a great quote by a guy who said much of our problems come from listening to ourselves not quoting the truth but quoting lies to ourselves. Mm. and here's what it says here Hope in God, for I shall again praise him, my salvation and my God. And so I think Christians need to be counseling their own soul and reminding their soul of the truth. Our God reigns. He's in charge. He is using this for good, even though millions have lost jobs. He wants to use all these circumstances for his purposes and his glory. And then the third thing... um, that has just hit me, Don, that uh, I am really passionate about is uh, I think we need to be asking God for wisdom. We're about to turn the corner from being uh, quarantined to come back out in the culture. And it's just not adults that are going to be turned loose. It's kids and young adults and and, uh, in the marketplace. And I think we as parents need to be in charge. And we need to have wisdom. And wisdom in the scriptures is godly skill in everyday living. In fact, before we got on the phone here, Don, uh, I think you'll like this. I called the head of our website, and I said, can we move the post that I have for tomorrow morning? Can I move it to now so Don's listeners can be the first to get the post? And the post is about uh, 40 things we taught our kids as they grew up. Mm. And I think that's relevant today because here we're coming out of all this this slower pace and we've been protected by our pace and self-quarantine, but now the decisions are going to come rolling in and parents, parents need to be parents. They need to be intentional. They need to know where they're going. And Barbara and I have posted our top 40 things we were teaching our kids, we didn't do it perfectly. We failed. It's better to have 40 things that you're shooting for than to have none and to not know. And then to turn your kids loose out of this self-quarantine into this culture, I think it's going to be dizzying for, uh, for some of us as adults and for, for young people and children as well. 
Good advice. In fact, the book that Dennis wrote most recently is The Art of Parenting. We've talked about that briefly. We need to have him back to talk about it further. But the website is therainies.org. Therainies.org. You can learn more about their ongoing ministries, resources, and the list of 40 items. And uh, boy, you're so right, Dennis. None of us has done it rightly. I wish there were, I preached a sermon a year or so ago to our church. There are no do overs. And how, well, I, how I wish I could go and do over some things with my kids, you know, that now are adults, but they now are dealing with their own challenges of raising their kids. But these are very important days for families which have been thrust together in an unnatural way right now for an extended period because the kids can't leave the house. So continue talking about that. You know, Don, here's the thing. I have a friend who, who lost a son in a plane crash, a private plane crash. And I, I came to his bedside two days before Christmas. I helped bury his six-year-old son, perform this service for that funeral. And he made this statement as he came out of the fog of the anesthesia. He said, life wouldn't be so difficult if we didn't expect it to be so easy. Wow. And, Don, I've been reading the Psalms. The Psalms are full of suffering. Jesus suffered. Why do we think... Suffering is abnormal. Um, you know, we're going to go to the other side, but there's going to be storms. As we get on board the boat, we're going to face storms and waves. And the king of the universe, the one who made the waves, who made the wind, who made the lake, he's still enthroned. He's still in charge. And it's easy to look at the waves like Peter did and start sinking in our faith. But we've got to lift our eyes up and go, wait a second, God's in charge. God is, he is king, he is Lord. And this sounds like a trite statement right now, but it's not, Don. I am more convinced than this. I, I think out of all the bad that has happened, all the tragic loss of jobs, financial hardship, I think Romans 8.28 has never been yeah. more true. It yeah. says, listen carefully. It says, all things work together for good to those who love God and are called according to his purpose. So if you want to get the most out of the COVID-19 experience with you and your family, you first of all need to check the throne of your life. Who's on it? Is it Jesus or self? Secondly, you need to check your loves. I think it was Tolkien who said, all of life is setting your loves in order. Is your love for Christ foremost? Is he the center of your life, and therefore you can make him the center of your family? And, and then finally, are you on his mission? That scripture said, all things work together for good to those who love God and to those who are called according to his purpose. And i got to tell you, I have no regrets giving my life to helping build marriages and families and legacies for generations to come, because I think that was ground zero uh, over the past four decades mm. as uh, I gave leadership to an organization. I think it's even more so today. The CEO of, a, of one of the major leaders in the response to COVID told his executive leadership, who are rushing in to make, to make uh, machines and masks and all these things, he said, all these roads lead back home. People are going back to homes to to process suffering, and and they're reduced back to the basics. Well, what are the basics? It's God, spouse, and family. How are you going to live now? Are you going to be wise? Are you going to ask God for wisdom? I led a devotion with my team. We have a little team now. Don, but it's still a great team and, and at the rainies.org. And, and uh, I led them in a, in, a, uh, in a study of wisdom. Proverbs 2 says, seek for her, search for her as silver. Why? Because it, it gives life. It is it's skill in everyday living. And if there's ever been a time when those of us who are managing households, uh, who are missing work, who are trying to find a way to make the finances go the distance as a single-parent mom, single-parent dad, blended families. You need wisdom. Well, James chapter 1 says, if you lack wisdom, ask in faith, and he will give it abundantly. But don't doubt, 
expect God to work and bring your family into that process and teach them how to suffer, teach them how to walk in faith and how to expect God to work. Because I, I think there's I think there's a ton of lessons being soaked up by young people who will never forget this for the rest of their lives. These are sacred moments, spiritually intense, sacred moments. Back to your point, no regrets. Don't let this opportunity uh, filter through your fingers without grasping for it. Well said. We must visit more often and longer, my friend. I'm going to ask Julie, I'm looking at her right now, I'm going to ask her to arrange a time when your schedule will allow you to come back, maybe spend a half hour or even an hour with us. Could you do that? Let's do that. Bring my wife. She's the better half of the deal. You know that already. Well, I, I wasn't going to bring that up, but tell her, I, <laughs> tell, tell her I said hello and we'll do it. Thank you, Dennis. Do we have time for me to pray for your audience? Sure. Lord God, maker of heaven and earth. The earth is full of your glory here at springtime. Would you reach out and touch these listeners one by one who are facing insurmountable challenges? Would you give them wisdom? Would you give them the courage to make the right choices? And would you provide and protect for your glory and your purposes and for your good, we ask it in Christ's name. Amen. 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 And again, that's 40 items. What are they, advice to parents? How is there a title to them, the list? Go to the rainies.org and click on blog, and you, it'll come right up. It's, it's, it's 40 lessons we sought to teach our kids. Wonderful. Dennis Rainey, and again, the website, therainies.org. Check it out. Make sure you take advantage of this wisdom that God has used these dear folks to give us. 